Hi everyone and welcome back. This is the third part of the first unit of the first week pretty much of Algebra 1A, real numbers and the number line. Okay, so what we are taking a look at, let me go to it right here, let's go to do 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 this. Nope, wasn't there. There we go. Okay, is we're taking a look at the real numbers and the number line. Okay, so real numbers. Now, you have to remember, real numbers are pretty new. And they've been around forever, but we just didn't put the name of real to them because we didn't have any designation of what wasn't real, uh, like imaginary, and you'll learn that more later. Uh, but real numbers are just numbers like 1, 12.38, negative 8 point a negative point eight six two five three fours root two one hundred ninety eight. In fact, any number, nearly any number you can think of, is a real number. So it includes all the whole numbers, the rational numbers, uh, and irrational numbers, right there too. So what's not a real number? Uh, imaginary numbers and infinity. Okay, imaginary we'll learn more about in the second semester, and infinity you'll learn more about in your junior year of math. Okay, all right, because there's a ton of numbers uh, that we use that you just have to have an understanding for. Okay, uh, why are they called real numbers? Because they're not imaginary, so I already <laughs> explained that. All right, now the number line. It's just a straight up, it's like a geometric line. Uh, there's an origin, which is zero, and it goes off forever in both the right and the left directions. Okay, now, here's an interesting thing you guys can think about. Okay, if you notice, if you plot any points, you might have to do some estimation. Like, for example, negative two and a half might not be exactly halfway in between negative two and negative three, but it is on the right side of negative two and the right side of negative three, so it should be there. Uh, you can also plot uh, fractions that are improper. You can plot uh, irrational numbers like negative pi halves is right here. So just remember this is 3.14 divided by 2. Uh, you can plot also really uh, complex uh, square roots. You can also plot uh, E's num or Euler's number, which is just E, which is about 2.718. And then pi is right here at 3.14 ish. Okay, a distance is chosen to be one, then the whole numbers can be marked off one, two, three, and they also can be read off in a negative direction. Okay, so everything could be just set up there. All right. All right. Uh, real does not mean they are in the real world, though. However, they are not called real because that shows the value of something real. In mathematics, we like our numbers pure. When we write uh, 0.5, we mean exactly half. The real world half may not be exact. Try cutting an apple exactly in half. Okay, so please understand as you guys go through this stuff, you're going to want to take your time and just sit there and think about it. What am I plotting? Where am I plotting? Okay. All right, so which arrow best shows the position of uh, square root of 3? Okay, would it be A, B, C, or D? Okay, now A is probably not the best choice because that's negative and we're looking for a positive root 3. Okay, uh, now if you get your calculator, let me go to it right now. Okay, and we go up to our calculation button, and we do the square root of 3. And just remember, uh, you can type in SQRT, just, and that will get you to the actual function a little bit faster. It's about 1.73. So we go back. And we're looking for about 1.73, and that looks to be about where C is because it's closer to 2 than B is. So we choose it, and we got it right. The answer is positive, so we ruled out. A is ruled out. Uh, 1.73 is between 1 and 2, but closer to 2, so the best answer is C. Okay? Alright, now if you go into Math is Fun, you can try out a ton of these other different problems, and they all work just fine. But uh, please understand, mathisfun.com is a great website to just use this stuff and just to be able to get through it. Okay, so back to our question at hand, real numbers in a number line. Uh, basically, you're just dealing with all real numbers, and nearly any number you can think of. Uh, if, it's, if it has an I in it, it's not real. It's called imaginary. Uh, if it has any other letter of the alphabet, it probably is going to be real unless that letter of the alphabet stands for I, something with I in it. Okay? All right. And that's pretty much it for real numbers in the number line. If you have any questions, please give me a call 
or email me and I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you guys. Have a great day.